Okay, it's Matt Morozik, aka MVM397, back for video number two. And if you follow me on Facebook, you've seen a picture of this already. It is the 135th LED Mirage Joker. This is an original. This is not an original Volks kit. Uh, it was originally a Volks kit. G System uh, recasted it a while back, and they offer it. Um, there was, or there is, an original Volks version of this for sale on the Hobby Fanatics forum if you have $1,300. Um, now Matt Tomzak has built the original Volks kit and he swears by it and he actually said that $1,300 for the original is a steal considering they only made about a hundred of them uh, well over 10-15 years ago so they're very rare very hard to come by and uh, he says that Volks makes the best resin kits. I've never owned a Volks resin kit so I'm not sure so I can't speak from experience, but uh, just knowing Matt and his uh, his background, I would trust him uh, wholeheartedly. Anyway, I got this for a really good deal um, on eBay. Uh, it didn't it didn't sell, so I contacted the seller, and he offered to sell it to me for his lowest price, and I got it the other day. So let's take a look, see what's inside. So this being one thirty fifth, it should stand about. Oh, 60 centimeters tall, I think. Roughly two feet. So, first thing we get are instructions. And these are photocopied from the Volks original instructions. Make sure we're in focus. I think we're in focus. So, this picture quality is not very good here. I have not opened this yet, so this is my first time looking at it. Uh, good. Again, our standard G system pictures. All right. Let's see. What we got. We got one. That's actually a really nice photo right there because you get to see behind the shield. Two. Oh, we get four pictures. Three. The nice shot of the back. And four. These are really super helpful, actually, because uh, not being familiar with these the series, I wouldn't I'd, I wouldn't know what paints to use or what color. I could use my own, but I think I'm gonna stay pretty true to this. Um, my thoughts are I'll do the the white in a gloss pearl white, um, do the mat, the metallics and maybe a pearl finish, not a pearl finish, a semi gloss. That's kind of my initial thoughts, but anyway, that gives you an idea. Of, that gives me some good reference. Um, Again, I'm sure I'm, I'm not I'm not familiar with five star stories, star five star stories, but uh, the more I see the designs, the more I'm liking them. So uh, now this guy's already done a parts check. So here's the shield, how it goes together. I'm not sure where the top is, or the bottom, to be honest. So already got checked off. I'll do a parts count also, but. Um, Here's the instructions, the G System sticker, letting you know it's, it's an original G System kit, even though this is a recast of a Volks kit. Uh, instructions for the foot. And they even show you where to pin. If you don't know where to pin these kits, you shouldn't be buying them. <laughs> this is a fairly simple kit. There's not a whole lot of pieces. Um, I want to say there's like 125 pieces to this whole kit. So they're very large. There'll be quite a bit of masking involved. Uh, looks like the torso is the most complicated part. I'm not sure if there's a cockpit or anything that opens up or anything like that. I don't think there is. Looks like there's some inner detail right here, but I'm not sure. Again, not being familiar with this. Uh, looks like the arm's fairly complicated as far as parts count and how it goes together. Right there, the shoulder. But for a resin kit, there's not there's not a lot to it. Some more of the shoulder assembly, and looks like those those armors right here may swing up and open up to show the interior. Okay, so here is the head, and they give you a nice cross section here to show you how that's supposed to go together. And these instructions looks like they're originally hand drawn. These weren't. These aren't. You know, this was produced in the 90s, I think. So they're not computer generated. 
But it gives you an idea of how this kit goes together. And then here's some crappy photocopies of the finished kit. You would not know what it was based on those. And it's just got a scabber with a handle. There's no actual blade. And there's some markings, but I don't see any decals. We'll see if there's decals once I get inside. There might be. I'm not sure. All right, let's look at some of the pieces. Okay, so I just found out that I get about 10 minutes of video on one of my 4 gig cards. So um, my video got cut off right when I started to open this up and show some pieces. Um, that's good to know. I'm going to go out and buy some more cards and a bigger card. Maybe I can shoot longer videos and not have to display them together. Anyway, um, I was just re-watching the video back and making sure I got it. But I did, on the instructions here... Uh, 1991 is when this kit was originally produced by Volks. So I'm going to move relatively quickly because I don't want to have to splice a ton of video together, but uh, show you some of the pieces. I didn't, luckily, I didn't get too far in opening this one. I noticed the video had cut out. So the first thing we're greeted by is some um, pieces wrapped in some bubble wrap here, and it's two pale, uh, two female figures. Anyone that knows this story, actually there's three female figures. I'm not sure if it's, it looks like it's the same girl in different poses. Um, maybe you can tell me who that is. <laughs> uh, the piece I really want to get to is the shield, because I know it's huge. Um, again, I'm not real familiar with the five-star stories, so I'm not going to know what these pieces go to right off the bat. But um, looking at these, the I mean... I think G-Systems casting has gotten better recently. I'm not sure how, when this, how old this kit is. Here's the head, or part of the head. Looks like it's already been opened. But, uh... Here's some cleanup. There's some flash here. And, uh... This goes in there like that eventually. But, uh... So that's a decent size. I mean... I don't want to ruin that. Here is... The handles to the sword, again, we don't actually get any blades, but we get a couple handles. Those are nicely detailed. Some hand painting will go a long way there to highlight some of this kind of fine detail. Here is the crest that goes on top of the head, right here. Nice. Here are the scabbards. Oh, I do get you do get a blade. You get one blade and two scabbards. So that's nice. So you can paint that a nice chrome, polished aluminum, It'll look good. These are the skirts. And again, they got some nice detail on the back side. That'll be nice to mask off and paint that a different color. I'm gonna check my focus real quick. Looks like I'm a little soft. Okay, so those look good. I hope these are in focus, guys. Let me know, <laughs> I'll know later. Um, some more smaller detail parts. Those look like those may be to the shoulders. Here are the leg, uh, the ankle armors that go around the legs. I mean, they're big. They're huge. They're as big as my hand. And casting looks really good. Um, here is the inside part of the head. Oh, there is a cockpit. Here's a seat. And I'm not sure if you see that once the kit's built, but there's the seat right here. And here is the face. And I tell you what, these they're the, the five star stories designs are just they're very elegant. They're just really pretty to look at. Um, even this face is, is very feminine. It's I don't know, it's just elegant. It's really, really kind of pretty to look at. And some arm pieces, like the forearms. Again, casting looks pretty good. I mean, better than most G-System kits I've had. I, mean, I, I tell you what, some of the older kits of G-Systems are way better than their newer ones. I don't know, I, I've built a few of their older kits. There, there's le far less parts count, and um, the casting's really good. I guess it's sharp. I mean, there's nice detail. You know, you get your typical, port, uh, typical gates you gotta snap off and clean. A little bit of flash. 
Oh. Whew, look at those huge thighs. Not thighs, uh, calves. <laughs> That's just massive. I mean, these are solid resin. That's crazy. It's huge. Here is the body. Let's take this out. It's beautiful. I mean, it is just really, really stunning. Let's get this in focus. Let's see. Looks really nice. Pretty impressed. All that detail in there can get painted. Nice. Again, solid resin. A few gates here and there. Here are the feet. Let's pull those out. And I'll pull one out. It's beautiful. Man. I'm glad I got this. I really am. I think this is like one of those, this is like a, like one of like the Sazabi I did last year. I think if I start this kit, it'll be one of those things, I'll get obsessed with it and I'll just go, 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 go till I finish it because it's really pretty. It looks really nice. Um, the casting is exceptional. Um, I usually don't use the word exceptional with G-System, but it, this is really good. Um, I mean, all the detail is sharp and is there. So, I mean, no complaints. Right. Zoom out a little bit. So I'm coming up to the shield at the bottom, which is massive. Here is the main top part of the kit. It's like the, sh it's like the, this is like the shoulder area right here that goes over. Very nice. Some nice details. And that looks like part of the shoulder armor again. Right there. More armor pieces. These go this I think this is part of the foot. Yeah I'm not sure exactly. Okay. I want to get to the to the shield because I know it's it's big. Matt Matt was telling me it's uh Probably about five pounds of resin, but beautiful details on the inside here. Be nice to detail all that out. Mm. Not sure what these are, but they're well casted, <laughs> whatever it is. Sorry about the focusing, guys. I have to do this manually, so it can be tricky. Looks pretty good. Okay, here's the shield. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Let me see if I can zoom. I can't even get it all in frame. It is huge. It's it's like here. It's that big. It's freaking massive. It's and it's solid resin. It's insane. It's probably this probably weighs five pounds, if not more, of solid resin. It's it's really crazy. I gotta take that out of the bag. And it's it's perfect. There is no everything is casted beautifully in this piece. This crest is magnificent. Um, it's just really really gorgeous, man. Look at that. It's beautiful. All this in here is perfectly casted. I mean, the panel lines are nice. There's very few panel lines, but the ones that are there are nicely, are in there nicely. Um, it'll make masking this off relatively simple because the details are sharp. That's just crazy. I'm just gonna put that up there. And we'll get to the last few pieces. There's some small pieces in here in bubble wrap I won't, wrap I won't take out. Oh, those are the hands. I'm just gonna leave those in there because those will be delicate. This looks like the probably the crotch, if I'm, if I'm if I'm correct. Like the legs will peg into here. That's what that looks like. And some more. Oh yeah, because here are the here are the thighs. I'm gonna wrap this video up before it dies. <laughs> 
So this video cuts out in the middle of this and I don't realize I'm say thank you for watching my video. So these get, you know, they get pegged in here somehow. Uh, anyway, something like this. That's the idea. That looks good. Here is, looks like this is the, um, the waste Again, this is solid resin. Pull that out. So, looks like that pegs in there. This piece goes in this piece, I can tell. There's a key in there. I just gotta figure out which direction it goes. Okay, it's gonna go this way, but there's a gate right there, so it's not gonna key in all the way right now. So, um, let's see if I can. I do it real quick. A down and dirty dry fit of these two pieces for you guys. Yeah, so that keys in like that. A couple pins and some epoxy. And that is going to be solid as a rock. There's, there's, there's that. Where's the, uh, let me find the torso. Here it is. Again, there's a gate on there. Let's see if I can do a quick and dirty dry fit of that. Not too worried about that that much because it's hidden. And this will go in like that. So there's basically the torso, the waist, and the crotch. And that's pretty good size. Um, Alright, so that is the 135th LED Mirage Joker from G Systems or Volks. Um, if anyone wants to get an original one, check out Hobby Fanatics. It's in the it's in the the cell area, about thirteen hundred bucks. Um, if this if the G System kit is this nice, I can only imagine how nice the Volks kit is. Um, and the fact that th that this is solid resin and there's not a single bubble in it, it blows my mind. It's crazy that they're able to do a single pour and not get any bubbles. But this thing is as long as my forearm. It's it's like 10 inches long. <laughs> Let me see if I have a tape measure. I don't have a tape measure out here, but it's it's got to be at least 10 inches long, if not longer. Oh, I have a ruler. Let's see how long this sucker is. It is... Do, 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 do. 13 and a half inches long. The shield is 13 and a half inches tall. That's insane. <laughs> That's bigger than a perfect grade kit. So uh, anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching again. Uh, leave a comment. Have any questions about this kit? Let me know. I'll answer as best as I can. But uh, this is going to be a really fun build, and I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Talk to you guys later.